Ooh, these are good, aren't they? Really good. Yeah, so I'm excited to try this on. Really nice snow powder powder. Someone's painting right there. Okay, it will wait a minute. Welcome back to another vlog. I've got unboxing to do, as you can see here, as well as um, some other things we'll get up to. I'm not quite sure. It's always a surprise to me about what ends up in a vlog. It's all organic to me as well. So I'll keep the camera handy for whatever else we get up to. But I do have some unboxing. It seems to be a thing we do. I've been doing a little extra shopping lately, if you've noticed. Hopefully that will taper off in a little bit, but I get started down a rabbit hole and I end up looking for other things. So that's kind of how it happens. It's also organic. We have another package here of probably already know what that is. I'm wearing Jenny Kane myself, their sale. Things were just flying <laughs> off the website quickly during their sale. So I was gonna try to list some things for you, but the, the things that I was looking at were already gone. So hopefully you found some great things. Let me know if you did. If you remember those high-waisted pants I was trying, I tried one from Reformation. I'll put a clip here. I'll try and film some inserts. And those had a very like flowy look to them. And then I got another pair from, oh, what was it called? something daughter. Your favorite daughter? Is that what it's called? I can't remember, but those had more structure to them. So between those two, I thought I wanted something that was similar in terms of the wide leg, but also cropped. So I was going to go for a petite size, but I noticed there was a cropped version as well, and I wanted them in black. So I wanted to order these. Hopefully I'll wear them this evening. I think my husband's here with lunch. So I might take a break for lunch in a second. So between those two, I was able to figure out which ones I wore more, which ones were more comfortable, and ones that I would want in other colors. So I picked these up. These are from Reformation. So the Reformations won out because they are more comfortable to wear. They don't um, have as much structure. I like the flowy look of those, but again, they're really long. I think I looked at the inseam and there's something like 32. I feel like they're longer than that though. And I think the inseam on these are 27 and a half. There's some like five inch or so difference. Otherwise I was gonna order petite. I ordered top as well and then I kind of went down the Reformation rabbit hole. They have some really nice pieces. I think their target demographics a little bit younger but they still have some nice uh, elevated basics. So the pants I got are not gonna look very exciting until I try them on, but I tried to get the Jenny Kane silk ones and they were sold out, so I didn't get those. But they have these in a cream, so we'll see how these go. But these are black, cropped. It's got the same um, design here, and I know that that belt that I love by Needly Lotan will fit because they fit the other ones, so that was good. And then you can see it's got a drapiness to it and they're just cropped. So I'm excited for these. I wanna wear them a little bit lower. So the other ones I have sit right at the waist and they're a size eight. So I got a size 10 because I want them to sit a little bit lower. Actually, this was inspired by Victoria. I can't remember her name, but she did a very minimal kind of off duty look, which I really liked. And I think she had some totem pants, but I couldn't figure out which ones she had. I mean, I think she had a link, but I like to be able to launder them myself. And some of them had wool and I thought I'm not laundering those myself. So the point is I want them to sit lower and have a really relaxed feel because even the eights, when they sit at the waist, I can kind of feel or sense it, which is good for that look, but I want something a little bit more relaxed. So I got a size larger and I want to wear them with my Jenny Kane slides that I love, the cute ones that sold out also. <laughs> And then we have here um, a top by Reformation. I really liked the neckline of it, it's really cute. So I do wanna try this on, you can see here. So this is a boat neck and sleeveless. So I actually got a large here. I don't want it super slim fitting either, so I'm gonna try these on. I'm really, really excited about this outfit. And if this goes well, I saw the cream version of these pants, which looked really nice. There's a black version of this top which looks really great. And then there's no lining though. I was hoping it was like a double uh, fabric, but it's not. It just is finished on the seams here. So we'll see how sheer that is. I don't think it's gonna be sheer, but I think it's gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, we'll try that on. I'm gonna wear this tonight. I think it'll go really well with my Laura Piana sandals, the heeled ones that unfortunately I can't find. Actually, they'll go really well with the flat Laura Piana shoes as well. 
yeah, that would work really well. In fact, the green pants, I think they're oyster, I can't remember the name of them. Yeah, so I'm excited to try this on. And then of course we'll unbox everything else. So the large top is the right size, actually. If it was the medium, which is my normal size, it would be too tight, I think. I wanna pick up the black version of this. I like the neckline, and I like how it goes all the way to the shoulders like this. Now the pants, I'm not quite sure. These are a size larger than the other ones that I have, but they don't feel that different. They just, I think these pants look better long. Not quite sure about the cropped version in black. I feel like it makes my legs look shorter, but I'll put a clip, of course, in. We can take a look. I'm gonna have to try and style it a little bit, but I was hoping to wear this with flats because the regular size is quite long and they're dragging on the ground. I think is too long for that because they'll eventually get kind of um, frayed at the bottom, but I wanna keep them nice. They're great for heels though. So I'm wondering if this pant is just better for a heel on me at least. But I do like this for a basic top. It is on the thinner side. I would have liked to have seen two pieces of fabric together on this, but I will use this one for sure. This is an exciting product that I received from a company. They reached out to see if I wanted to try a new product. And I'm excited because I've heard about this company. I have known of their owner, I think as long as I've worn makeup, maybe not that long, but a long time. So Bobby Brown, this is one of her companies. This is Jones Road. So it says cool, clean makeup. From what I've seen, I love their minimalist approach to makeup, the multi-purpose aspect of some of their products. They've got all of these powder shades here. This is Powder Reinvented. Tinted Face Powder is a finely milled, ultra lightweight setting powder designed to seamlessly blend onto your skin to set your foundation. Color correct where needed, love that. And minimize shine without looking like you're wearing powder. It's exactly what you've come to expect from Jones Road, a fresh modern take on a traditional staple. Let's see what this is. Oh, you can see what it says there. We've got two powders here. They sent over a couple of shades. So this is light, this shade right here. And I liked it because it had a peachy tone. I really like how they recognize that powders can color correct too because that's what I do with powders. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be really pretty. And then we have the yellow shade. And the yellow is really more yellow. So here we have light and yellow. And then there's this. Oh, it's a powder brush. Ooh, lovely. So this brush is interesting because it's super soft right here. Not as soft on the sides, like it feels coarse, but right here is very soft. I've got another tea here. I found these on Amazon and we're reusing them as well. But this little piece right here actually closes up so you don't have any spills. So if you take the straw out, you can seal it up. So I'll use this for smoothies. Yeah, it's really easy to wash too. So if you're interested, I'll list that below. Oh, before I forget, I ordered that uh, Frank and Eileen dress that I really like, the cotton wall. But I wanted to try to find something that wasn't as sheer, and so I tried this one from, uh, where did I get it from? Anthropology. They had one. But I also saw the reviews on this that it's kind of like noisy fabric. So it's a cotton, and it's more like cotton shirting, and it's a little bit... Um, baggier on the bottom, but it's in the size medium if you're interested in the sound doesn't bother you. Plus the buttons are white. Uh, I'll leave the link below. I'll go ahead and try it on for you just so you can see it though. But it appears to be longer than the Frank and Eileen version that I picked up. And then Elemis sent me something. I love Elemis products. They're some of the nicest skincare. Ooh, I also have some sunglasses on the way that I don't know if they'll get here. I may have to wait a few days to film again because they're in transit. Oh, this is called the Pro Collagen O oh, Glow Boost Exfoliator. So I just finished up an exfoliator from, I can't remember, Dr. Brandt maybe, that I got a long time ago, um, but I was gonna repurchase that. But this, you'll probably see it in an empty, but this is from Elemis. Achieve next level radiance. I love a good gentle exfoliator. It says gently exfoliates to reveal a cleanser. Cleanser? No, cleaner. A cleaner, refreshed, less congested complexion. Lovely, skin smoothing exfoliator. Thank you so much to Elements for this. So it actually is a like this. So you don't have to twist off the lid, which I like. I like not having to twist off the lid because I always lose them. They go rolling everywhere. And I'm trying to just take a little out so we can see. Ooh, it's this color. Can you see the color? It's like a the color of this. How nice. Okay, let's just try a little. So it's like a translucent and I can feel there's little particles in there and little grains. 
It does feel gentle though. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Oh, it smells lovely too. Elmas has that very spa-like relaxing scent about it. Yeah, I love Elmas products. So Milk Makeup also sent something over and I always see their products. I think I tried maybe a couple of things like minis before. I'm excited about this, that's very cute. This reminds me of a lunch bag. Ooh, lots of things. Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I love a good cleansing balm. Actually, this is another thing I was going to purchase because I ran out. So excited to try this. Let's see what it's like inside. I didn't know they made, did I know they made cleansing balms? I don't think so. I think I've seen like a bronzer, highlighter by Milk. <laughs> I can never have enough cleansers or hand cream, I've decided. So this is the balm and it's very, like it's solid, like this. I don't sense a scent there. What does it remind me of? It reminds me of like a, oh, what does it remind me of? Hmm, I'm trying to think. It's like a solid and then it kind of goes to more like smooth consistency where it breaks down easily. Nice, okay, excited. I love, like I said, I love trying cleansers. We also have this. Which is, what are you? Oh, clear brow gel. I think I've heard about this. Their brow gel. I wanted to try other clear brow gels, so I like already that the spoolie is small. I think for eyebrows, it can get kind of um, too much if the spoolie is too big. What else do we have? We have a little, oh, cheek color. And this is in the shade Work. W-E-R-K, Work. Okay, oh, I was like, there's no color. It's because there's plastic on the top. <laughs> I thought that's really sheer. Oh, that's lovely right here. That looks really pretty. It looks like kind of my lip color, doesn't it? I'm excited about that. I love a good natural looking cheek color. Really like that tone too. It's like, this is the color. Pretty. Ooh, another lip color. Well, this is lip and cheek. Oh, okay. And so this is another lip and cheek. Ooh, it's like a plum color. Okay, remember to take off the lid. Oh yeah, it's deeper. It's like a plum color. Pretty. Like a crushed berry, I'm gonna say. Eyeliner. Oh, I didn't know what. See, I don't know what companies make sometimes if I'm not familiar with them. So they make an eyeliner. Let me know if you've tried milk products and which ones you like. Hi, babe. I'm sorry. You're okay. Um, this is called Outer Space. I'm guessing it's a black shade. Ooh, that went on really smoothly. Can you see? It looks really precise in the viewfinder there. It looks really sharp. We've got this, which is their mascara. It says boom. Oh, that must be the shade. High volume conditioning mascara formulated with heart-shaped fibers. Heart-shaped fibers? I wonder what heart-shaped fibers do. Oh, lovely wand. It looks nice and full, the wand. And then we've got this. This is the Hydro Grip Primer. Oh, it's a primer. They've got primer. It says 100% agree skin feels immediately smoother. And this is to make sure that you let it fully absorb for a minute. That's what it looks like. So it's a clear. Oh, it feels very smooth. I don't know why I think it would smell like cucumber. Like it has that feeling like it would smell like cucumber, but it doesn't have a scent, at least from what I can smell. So thank you again to Milk Makeup for sending everything over. Okay, then we've got this by Jenny Kane. And I think I mentioned in the, did I mention in another video what it was gonna be anyway? Let me know if you picked up anything from the sale. I ordered this before the sale, but I also had a coupon code anyway. So it was like 15% versus 20%. And then, yeah, by the time I saw the sale, these were virtually sold out. So it's the, <laughs> it's the Cove dress. And I was wearing one before. And the reason why I, have a second one that I ordered is because the first one, if you remember from another vlog, I had put my foot in from the top and I ripped the front and so it was looking kind of Frankenstein-ish. I'm gonna really try and do something decorative, not decorative, but something that uh, looks a little bit better in the front there and it'll be one that I wear in the house. So I don't wear outside shoes or outside clothes in the house. I always change when I get home and I usually take a shower when I get home. So it makes sense that I have an inside version and an outside version because this dress is so comfortable. I love wearing it out, but I also love wearing it inside. And then also with the cocoon sweater, I love wearing that inside and wearing it outside would be great too, except that I don't wanna get it dirty. So then it's washing it every time I wear it outside. So I'm wondering if I need an outside version of that sweater. <laughs> Probably not, but that's why I have now two versions of the cove dress. 
I would love the navy version of this, but I think I looked on their site, what does it say? Because I think the way they describe their brand is very much how I see this brand. I wanna say the uh, tagline or their motto or something said, elevated basics, everyday essentials. I think that was it, because that's how I feel about these clothes. Their price point is elevated, I think for what they are, but it's something that I would wear every day inside and outside of the house. So I think cost per wear makes sense. I think that their products are nice, but not super nice that you feel a little bit um, careful about wearing them, except for when you rip them, I should have been more careful. But it's something that's more practical with a elevated price point, but definitely more practical will get my cost per wear, so that's why I decided to get another dress. So I'll keep an eye out for if this dress comes back into stock because I really love it. It's lined on the top and the bottom, so you've got two layers of fabric, really comfortable, nothing pulling or itchy or anything like that. It's got pockets, it's the right length for me. I'm taller, so sometimes even a, a maxi dress or like a midi dress is too short for me. It's a beautiful length as well and I loved the relaxed feel and look of the dress. So yeah, at first I thought I don't need to, but then I thought no, I want one for inside and for outside. That is a luxury in and of itself to be able to have two of the same dress. Now considering though the cocoon cardigan, an outside version. Uh, once I see this dress come back into stock, if I see it come back into stock, I will definitely post for you and try and find a coupon code. Just wanted to say quick hi, and I have on this dress, my lower piano bag, which I wish was more readily available. And I'm gonna put on my Hermes uh, sandals, oh, but I will see you a little bit later. I thought a little change of background here, the lighting right over in that corner is just so much better, but I thought something a little bit different, not that exciting, it's just our couch here, but I usually wait to test out makeup until it's on the big camera, but I was really anxious to try the powder and then I thought, let me try the other items as well, but I already have some makeup on, the SPF, the, I have to list it below, I think it's the Dr. Brandt one, and then I went in with some more SPF for the eye color science and the base illuminatrice because that one, the Dr. Brandt SPF has still some extra hydration for the center of my face. So I just added some there uh, of this, the base illuminatrice. And then I went in with the Clay de Poe concealer right on my spots, but I purposely left some showing because we're gonna test out the powder, the Jones Road powder. I used a little bit of this under the eye, the um, the Camouflage Stilo in 4C. I also, it doesn't look like I used a lot of makeup, but I did. And then I went in with the Victoria Beckham in marble just to build some dimension. I also contoured my nose. Went in with the highlighter too, the Victoria Beckham highlighter. Victoria Beckham brow. Oh, and more Victoria Beckham. I went in with pecan here, uh, the eyeshadow sticks, and then trench right on the bottom. Oh yeah, I used a little bit of the Ola Henriksen under the eye as well to brighten. Let's get into the Jones Road powders. Minimize shine without looking like you're wearing powder. I love that. These traditional powders can make the skin appear flat or leave creasing and cakiness thanks to its ultralight formula. Tinted face powder is virtually undetectable on the skin. Two shades. I think we unboxed, but I put it back in the box. I probably use them. I like to keep things kind of intact. So we have here, which I think is going to do some nice color correcting, is light clar, but you can see it has color. Okay, so it's got this little like this, first of all. It's got a little turn here. So you have the holes, but then you can cover them up by sealing it up by twisting like this. And this is the shade yellow. Hi, babe. Hello. What do you need? You. No, oh. what's happening? What are you doing? Passing through. No, I don't trust that that's all you did. <laughs> what did you do? What? Yeah, what did you do? Something. Straighten the lamp shade because someone almost knocked it off the counter yesterday. I did. I almost knocked I almost knocked the whole thing down. It was gonna totally shatter on the ground too. Okay, so this is what happens. We watch a show at night, then when it's done, he turns off the TV and it's totally dark. And then I can't see. 
I literally can't see anything. And so I was going to turn on a light and I almost knocked it off the table. I mean, it went totally sideways. So let's finally try these. So we've got this one and then they sent this lovely brush too. But yeah, started working out. I did a whole routine. I'm a little bit sore today, but I'm glad I started. So I just have to keep going. So I've got a little bit of this powder with this brush. I'm gonna, I didn't take too much powder though. And I have the cute mirror that they sent. Let's see. It actually looks like the right color. This is the one in light. That's pretty good, actually. Really nice snow powder powder. Now I am, do you notice though, I'm seeing a little bit more. I think because it's not reflecting light, the dark spots there. I wonder if I could build this up. So it did say to color correct. Of course I have no foundation on today, so that might make a difference too if I have foundation underneath. But this is like my most favorite minimal kind of makeup in that it's hardly any makeup. What is this on my head? I don't even know. Hopefully when I do a sit down video, you'll be able to see really how nice that looks. I mean, if you don't have discoloration in the front, cause that's what I have to contend with is that sometimes powder can expose that a little bit more, which I wonder, can I build that up? Let's see. This is a experimenting sometimes you don't see because I edit a lot of stuff out and then I'll just kind of recap. So this is happening not in real time, but you get to see the process here. So going in again with that same powder, the light. Yeah, that's pretty undetectable. Really natural looking. But again, I think you can see spots. This is the problem. Let's take a bit of this clay to Poe and well, we'll see if it's something we can add on top of. So I think with the SPF, um, the makeup was kind of sliding around a little bit, even with the primer. Interesting. So this is actually applying quite well on top of the powder. Almost like the, uh, I'll have to experiment more, but it kind of reminds me of the Sizzly uh, Blur Powder. You know how you can put that as a primer and then makeup goes on smoothly on top of it? This kind of behaving like that. But again, uh, let me do some more testing before I can really say that as a, but I'm noticing it's not a problem. It looks smoother. And I feel like that powder is really staying in place because they're very, um, like setness about it. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It feels like it was really set quite well though. Uh, by the way, this is the James purse hoodie that I have on. Really nice lightweight kind of top for warmer months, but it still has sleeves and it's cozy. Just a nice combination. So I'm gonna take the yellow powder, try that under the eye. Yeah, I wasn't planning on filming today, but I wanted to play with this makeup. And I typically wear, yeah, for me, maybe not under the eyes. No, 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 no. No, so I'm gonna reserve this, at least for me, for not the eye area. Like I like how thin it is and that it really feels like I'm not gonna get some transfer from my makeup. Really nice. Milk makeup sent over these items, as you recall, and I just realized I could've used this, the gel primer. I didn't even think I could've tried that. Base adherence or base primer. Yeah, it looks like it would have come in handy, but I will try it and let you know, and then we'll use it in a video if it went well. <laughs> oh, clear brow gel. Oh, let's do that because I did the um, brow pencil, the Victoria Beckham, but I didn't do the brow gel today. So let's see. I was actually going to purchase a clear brow gel, but we'll test this one out for a while, see how it works. Okay. The hold seems like it's a little bit, um, like a medium hold, not a super strong hold. And I think I just wiped off some of my eyebrows, so let's just fix that. I was intrigued by their eyeliner because it was so smooth and so, like it's gonna be really evident, I think. I think this is gonna be really evident because 
it was a very um, intense black shade here. Is there anything to smudge it out on? There's nothing to smudge it out on the ends. Okay, let's just use my clean hands here. Okay, so have a like a brush or something standing by if you want to uh, finesse this a little bit because it's just the eyeliner. It was funny, I was just reading about hooded eyes and winged eyeliner. It said to have a bat wing, which I never thought of describing it like that. Yeah, but it's gonna go up like this, almost straight up. Cause then looking straight ahead, then it is a wing versus like down. <laughs> Can do a nice little tapered end there though. So this is a long wear eyeliner too. And I can see that cause I could feel it setting. Like once you got on, you had just a little bit of time to move it around and then it looks like it's gonna stay. Try the mascara. So this is their mascara. I'm excited because this brush looks quite full. Okay, so that is one coat. Let's see what one coat looks like over here. This seems like, I mean, it's a new mascara. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get to its maximum performance. This wand is very full for the results, which is very natural. I thought I'd get a lot more length and fullness right away, but again, this is the first time I'm trying it, so I just, I think I had a different expectation because of the size of this brush. Oh, by the way, that eyeliner allowed me to get really close to the beginning part of my eye, which I usually don't do because otherwise the line is too thick. Let me know in which one of these products you wanna see in a get ready with me, maybe how you would like to see it used. And that was two coats, so that's not bad. Very natural looking though, and I can see that it's got a lot of lift. So we got these two lip and cheeks. So let's go in with the lighter one first. I like this tiny size. I don't know if this is a promotional thing or if they come this size or if you can get this size. I don't know, but I like it because that, uh, unless it's the only thing you use. Oh wow, that's got a lot more color than I thought. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be a sheer color. Uh, should we even try this going over here? Well, let's just experiment because why not? because that powder seemed so nice. I did get a little bit of powder on here though. Um, it seems so nice in terms of not doing strange things, but hmm. yeah, okay, so it's still like balmy enough to be able to disturb makeup underneath, so just be careful, but I like the feeling of it. Kind of reminds me like a in-between the Merit product, their tea color, which is more of a balm, more translucent, and the Westman Atelier. So it's like somewhere in between those two. It's pretty, okay, let's try it on the lips. I don't love lip and cheek. Okay, let's do this. So I don't like putting things directly on my lips and then my face, so we're gonna put some on my hand first. Okay, that's too late for my lips. And this is the one that's like really vivid. So pretty. This might look better on the lips too. Okay, so there's like a nice satiny finish to this blush. It's pretty. This is actually a good travel size. Let's try this on the lips. Oh yeah, I knew this would look better. It's almost like a lip stain. I mean, it's not as drying as a lip stain, but it's that very like French girl makeup where they just do this to the lips. <laughs> and just add some more concealer. It might seem like I'm adding a lot of concealer, but it just keeps getting wiped away every time I add something else, so reapplying it. That's so why I love that Clay Depot concealer. You can just apply it over things that traditionally they say don't apply concealer over powder especially, but depending on the powder, sometimes it works. Okay, I'm gonna go in again with this milk product and try and, it seems dark. I'm trying to just meld the two. This is the trick, like trying to get these two sections to connect. And I'm really just taking a break from cleaning. But then of course under this, what I'm wearing, I'm wearing the Jenny Kane dress. So I do have two now and uh, another sweater on the way. Hello, we're in a different spot because I just finished a video. I'm filming a video, I think it's coming out after this. So I'll list that below after it comes out, uh, what this makeup is, because I use some of my favorite new products. I have a few other items to unbox here with you and then We'll do a, oh, I had a request for a five minute makeup. I don't know how long this video is. If it's not in this video, it'll be in the next video because I do want to film a quick five minute video. 
video, five minute look for you. Um, but I wanted to unbox, I have a few things here and then we'll try things on. First one is from net a -Port And I think I requested, like maybe I requested Eco or something. I don't know, I didn't get the um, net a -Port box, the black one, but I got a pair of denim and I was looking at them because I have this pair which are like the perfect, maybe I should try them on for you in the try on. They're the perfect elongating, very slimming denim, but also uh, after a few hours of where I can feel that they are very close fitting. They're not uncomfortable, like they're not too tight to zip up, but I can just tell like after I eat, I can tell that I'm wearing those jeans. I can just feel it around the waistband because they're so perfectly fitted. So I was looking for something that was the exact opposite of that. I was looking for something that was slouchy, um, that kind of dragged on the floor, that had a very like easy uh, fit to it. It almost looked like I was wearing jeans that were too big for me, but they aren't big for me, if that makes sense. I just wanted something drapey. There we go. I wanted a drapey denim. So I picked these up and they were on sale at the time, but I think they went back up. So just, I will keep an eye out if you're interested in these and picking them on sale, on sale. But these are by Neely Lotan and I got them in a 29 and I think I could have gotten them in a 28, but I just wasn't sure of the sizing. I have, like I said, the belt here by Neely Lotan. She's becoming quickly one of my favorite designers. But these are the Mitchell jeans. And what I like about these, I love the wash because they're very worn and looking, but they're very relaxed the way I wanted them to look. So I saw them in a an ad that she had. It was like a blazer and then these denim. And I thought they were just so cool girl looking and very, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Effortless, it's very effortless denim. And I was looking for comfort too. And I have to say, I um, tried them on and put them back in the box because I couldn't wait to try them on. So they are very comfortable. I'm gonna show those to you on. But yeah, very happy with this purchase. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a fail or not, but these are definitely ones I'm going to keep. Next up is the sunglass order, I had mentioned it. I was so excited about these because they are a designer, but it's almost like they've been, um, so if you know cars, it's almost as if it's been debadged because the logo on it is very discreet. Um, so they have this with more evident logos on them, but I wanted to try this one. I thought they were very unusual and I think I just found them at Bloomingdale's. That was the only place I saw them. It comes in this very well wrapped. We've got this, lots of packaging here, and these are by Celine. And I've heard so much about Celine sunglasses. I have heard rave reviews about them. I know they're typically oversized. And I love my, um, what are they, Warby Parker, those sunglasses. And I was surprised that they worked for me because they're plastic and they don't have the nose pads. And typically those will just slide off my face. But I thought, well, since those work for me, maybe it, it distributes the weight better. I think is why I don't get as many um, indentations on my nose like I do with some other glasses. I don't know. But these are heavier looking. And they also, here we go. And they also are very dark. Um, but I use prescription glasses, but when I use them to look far away, I can't see up close. So I thought, let me just get some regular lenses so I can see up close if I'm reading a magazine or something like that in the sun, I can actually see it. So I have different purposes for different sunglasses. Um, so these come in a very nice case and it comes in this, and I, they feel, now that I'm feeling them, they feel very lightweight. You can see them there. And they do have a wayfarer shape about them, which I liked. Okay, so these don't look as large as I thought they would but I do like the lightweight nature of them. So you can barely see the logo there, and that's what I love. I love that you can barely see who makes these, and you have to go really close to see them. It's not like it has no logo, it does have a logo, but it's very, very, very discreet. And I love how dark the lenses are on these. So I'm just gonna try them on for you, and we'll take a look. Ooh, in the viewfinder, they look good. You know what I like about these? I like that they have this upward angle right here because I think it's very face lifting. And I like that the logo is discreet, but if you want, I think I saw gold and then something else. I can't remember the other uh, form of this, but um, if you want to take a look, I think this is a really good 
frame. But I like these because the other Celine's have Celine written on the side. They have gold. I really like this black on the side because it's very discreet. And then you can use this with the various metals. So whether you have silver accents or gold, I think you can go out with either. So I like the versatility of these. Oh, these are good. So I'll keep you updated on if they leave an indentation on my nose as well as um, if they touch my cheeks. But right now they're kind of sitting away from my face, which is good because typically with this size of glasses, they're usually already sitting here on my cheeks, but they're not. Oh, these are good, aren't they? Really good. I think I'm gonna have to keep these. Let me know what you think, but I, so far I love these. Yeah, so let me know what you think of these frames. But I think they're really good. Let me know if you have Celine frames too and what you think of them or if you have these. Okay, and then lastly, Jenny Kane. I think this is the end of my Jenny Kane purchases for a while, hopefully. So this should look familiar. And it is another cocoon sweater. And I already, yes, I already have one, but I decided I do want one for inside and one for outside. That's how much I love this. So this is my second one. I got it on the promo. Um, but usually, like I said, there's a 15% off promo. So I do have the Cove dress, two of those and two of the sweaters now because I like the combination so much. If you didn't pick it up, I just love the way it drapes. I will go ahead and style up some of these things for you. We'll do that. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.